What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Emerald walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, yes, we defeated Roxanne for our very first gym badge. Take a look at that right on there on the left side right there. Yeah, that's right, one badge. And it looks like we have another errand to run because, of course, uh, yeah, Team Aqua member may or may have not stolen something from the Devon Corporation. Now, after defeating the gym leader right here, we are unable to use Cut, and there is an area right here that, you know, does have the Cut technique, and yes, I do have a Zigzagoon as a, um, an HM slave. I named this, uh, Zigzagoon, in, uh, Rocket. You know, Rocket. Rocket Raccoon from, you know, you, uh, from, uh, what was it called again? Uh, the Avengers? Not the Avengers. What was it? Shoot. Guardians of the Galaxy, that's right. Rocket, the Zigzagoon. So, let's move on right here. Let's go ahead and take care of everything. And, uh, well, let's see. Devon Corporation right there defeated you. And, uh, you know, we could always go north right here. And that's probably what I'm going to do right now. There's a trainer right here that I want to battle. Or that I should battle. I probably should have came here during a little visit. Now, talk to this girl. She's like, exploring a cave isn't like walking in on the road. You never know when a wild Pokemon will appear. It's full of suspense, which is true. There is a cave right around here. There's an item. And this is uh, Route 115 to Rustboro City, and there is no trainer right here. Completely for uh, you know what? I must be thinking of Pokemon Sapphire or Ruby. I don't know. And as you can see, we got ourselves a Super Potion, which is pretty good. So if you guys were wondering what's up there, there it's just a Super Potion, guys. It, it really is. So let's move on forward right here to what we need to do, and that is we need to save this guy from getting fired. So he's like, oh, it's it's you. You're that fantastic trainer who helped me in the Petalburg Woods. Help me. I was robbed by Team Aqua. I have to get the Von Goods back. If I don't, I'm going to be in serious trouble. You know what? Maybe I should have your job. I don't know. You should have... I don't know. I, I got a lot to complain about to you, you know, since you're incompetent and all that stuff. But you know what? Whatever. That's not... It's none of my business. Whatever. Okay, so in the last episode, we managed to, you know, use Shroomly and Swamp Lord a lot. So now it is all about Gaia and Shadow for most of the episode right here. Now, will I use Rocket? Uh, well, a little bit just for the cut technique and all that stuff. Not really... He's not really on my bucket list right here. So here we are in Route 116, and this route is filled with trainers and a lot of good Pokemon that you can actually find. A lot of rare Pokemon, if you like to call them rare. So here we go. My Pokemon rule. Check them out. Okay. All right. Let's do this. Bring it on. Let's do it. Here we go, Youngster Joey. Coming out with his Machop. Big mistake. Go, Gaia. That's right. Gaia. Ready to kick some butt right here, going with that confusion attack. As you can see, that's right. Oh yeah, it sounds so good. How sweet it is, and this guy's just using focus energy, really. I want to attack Gaia like right there and then. So here we go again, confusion attack, FTW, look at that. Oh yeah, that Machop didn't like that. And nearly grew a level. Ouch, he scraped, but to put on a bandage. Excuses. Excuses and uh, these like bandages are a sign of toughness. I've got another one. Wow. Okay, you mean scars, bro. You mean scars. It is a true theory, guys. Girl or chicks dig scars. I don't know why it's happened. I've gotten lucky. Got lots of stories. Whatever. So here we go. This one says trainer tips. If you want to stop a Pokemon from evolving, press the B button while it's trying to evolve. The started Pokemon will stop. This is called a can or Evolution Cancel, which is kind of messed up, but whatever. Um, we got another trainer right there. Let's go with Shadow right here. We're, we're trying to get these Pokemon to level 10 right here. And this guy is like, my bug Pokemon are tough. Let's battle. All right. Bring it on. Do it. Just do it, homeboy. And this guy's got two Pokemon. So Jose right here comes out with his Wurmple. And I'm coming out with my Shadow. Let's go. Shadow with the Tackle Attack right here. And, uh, not much, but we're, yeah, we're, we're trying to manage, you know, we're going to manage by and beat this guy right here. So, let's see, um, you know what, maybe I should heighten its attack just a little bit. Even though I'm getting a little slower right now with Wurmple, I'm just going to, you know, heighten its attack a lot. Now I can just sweep the crap out of this team. I know that Shadow's, uh, I guess Shadow's weak against, uh, uh what, Bug-type Pokemon? Yeah. Dark-type Pokemon and Psychic-type Pokemon. So new, man. So new that they're they're weak against uh, so weak against a uh, bug type Pokemon. If you guys get my trick, 
And uh, this guy's just gonna, he, he's just gonna keep on lowering my speed. So while you do that, I'm just gonna heighten up my attack. That way that attack will attack and just go crazy on you. Because, of course, yeah, Shadow doesn't really uh, learn any new moves until like later on. And this guy right here just hits me with a critical hit. So one more howl will do the trick. As you can see. And, uh, wow, seriously, String Shot. You know, in, in the Pokemon anime, String Shot would be effective. But right here, it's just lowering my speed and nearly makes this Pokemon faint. And this girl, oh, this guy is just, just going to town with my speed right here. Right now, like, my feet are on the floor just because of that. And would you look at that? Nearly grows a level right there. And it's coming out with a Ninkata. Now, this is a little tough right here. Ninkata is also a rock-type Pokemon, I would like to say. It does have a very uh, high attack, and you can actually find one here in Route 116, so... There's that Scratch attack, here's that Tackle attack that... Okay, it does it does work perfectly. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to heal my I'm gonna heal my Poochiana right now, because I don't want him to faint. I want him to actually beat this Ninkata right here, and this Scratch attack is just really hitting me. Look at that, faster than me, faster than the speed of light. That's right. One more. That's right. You're going for the scratch attack. I'm going for a tackle. And there we go. Shadow wins. That's right. Gross to level 10. Eat it. Eat it. And doesn't learn another move. So Jose's all like, I lost. I thought I had you. You kind of did. But no, I had a doggy. My doggy Pokemon destroyed you. So I'm going to switch it up right here. And uh, let's see what kind of item we find. And look at that. We find a repel. I think, you know, I think you can buy those now since you defeat the gym leader. And like I said, you can find some pretty interesting Pokemon right here. Here we have another trainer. She's like, I study at the school and I study on my way home too. Okay. Bookworm. We got a bookworm right here. And here we have school kid Karen coming out with a shroomish. And uh, let's go with Gaia right here. Oh, trust the, uh, trace the effect sport. Now remember, effect sport, doesn't matter what it is. Paralyze you, poison you, put you to sleep, or you know, I could just do that. And would you look at that? That's one. That is one. Par paralysis number one, right there. Very first time I'm getting paralyzed in this walkthrough. And like I said, I'm, I'm a magnet. I am a ship magnet for paralysis, and we're gonna keep count of this. So that's one right there. And uh, oh god, this shroomish is just uh, wow. It's just, it's a little powerful. It's just a little strong right here. So what we're going to do, another confusion attack. And, uh, well, we got to heal our Pokemon right here. Still not strong. Used my Swamp Lord a lot. And there is that Absorb attack. It's basically healing itself every single time. And uh, that wasn't a critical hit. So what we're going to do again, confusion attack. How is, how is this Shroomish faster than my Gaia? I want to know that. And wow. Just when I'm about to defeat this guy. Okay, so I am not taking a risk right here. I gotta switch out to Swamp Lord. It is a risk, but whatever. Let's go Swamp Lord. Destroy. And, uh... Wow. That right there was a little a little strong. So Shroomish right here is a little, uh... It's close. It is close to, uh... To full health, and it's, that's not effective. But I'm just trying to uh, lower his accuracy right here. So... This one Pokemon is kicking my butt. I got a Shroomish myself, and it's kicking my butt right now. And, uh... Okay, let's see. You know what? I'm gonna go with Bite. Screw it. Go ahead. Absorb me. Oh, wow. Really? Really? Okay, so that's one. You know, you could have hit me twice. And that was... Wow! Oh, jeez. Okay, so this chick right here is really, really pissing me off. Okay. Let's go with Tackle Attack. And really? You're going to miss? Okay. We're both missing right here. Come on, Swamp Lord. There we go. And uh, right when we're about to win, again, another Absorb Attack. Jesus H. Christ, this guy is not letting me win right here. Come on. Let's go. Fatality. Eat it. Now you guys know why I got a Shroomish, because it's pretty strong. And would you look at that, Swamp Lord grows to level 16, that is awesome. I'm in shock, I lost, you almost beat me, shoot, I didn't have a Pokemon to beat you with, and uh, look at that, that's right, 
Swamp Lord is finally evolving into Swamp Lord. I'm just playing, guys. Well, like every other episode, yes, it's finally evolving into its next stage, which is what? Quagsire? No, it's not Quagsire. Come on, I'm not playing. I'm playing Mudkip. I'm just going to read right here. Swamp Lord into Marsh Chomp. Again, guys, it's been a while since I played this game. Do not blame me if I forget the names and all that stuff. But here we have Marsh Chomp. And he's trying to learn Mud Shot. Okay, so what are you trying to learn? Right? Oh, okay, and let's see. What move we, should we take? Now, it's obvious that it should be Mud Slap because it's just 20 HP. This guy right here is 55 or 55 uh, power right here. 95 accuracy, but it reduces the speed. So, oh god, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to take away by it because uh, you guys already saw it. It didn't really work for me. I mean, they usually use one, like, they usually use a attack that doesn't hit me and all that stuff. So, that's the deal right there. Let's go ahead and take a look at our, our new Pokemon, Swamp Lord, the Marsh Tomp. As you can see, it is now a water and ground type Pokemon. And it's, that's right here. It's more of an attacker, physical attacker right here. Uh, defense, pretty good. Special defense is pretty good. And everything else is good, I guess. I don't know. And if I were to put him into a uh, Pokemon contest, it's either cute or tough. I want to say tough. I don't know. Okay, so we need to heal our Pokemon right now. Let's go. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go with Shadow right here. Well, I'm going to give both potions to these guys right here. I think I already bought some super potions off screen. So here we go. Grab that super potion. I'm going to give that to Swamp Lord. Rocket, you're not doing anything right now. Whatever. So then here's a paralysis heal. So feels good not to be paralyzed. Let's see. What else? Quick Claw. You know what? I should probably give that to somebody right here. Hmm. Ooh, ooh. You know what? I'm going to give that to True. No. Wait. No, actually, you know what? Best way to find out. So let's go ahead and check the stats. All right. So let's see. 13 speed. 14 speed, 12 speed, okay, so I was right. Let's go with Shroom Lee right here. If you want to be the best, you got to be fast as well, just like the real Bruce Lee. So here we go with Shroom Lee, getting that quick ball. And uh, let's move on right here. I think there's some hidden items right here that I would like to find, huh? No. Nope. And uh, there's a Pokemon right there that, you know, we really didn't want to battle. And would you look at that? We found a Ninketa. A Ninketa. I'm pretty sure it's faster than my Pokemon. I'm gonna try and escape. Yes, I did. I escaped. Okay, so I'm gonna catch these. I'm gonna catch every Pokemon in here off screen, guys. Don't don't think that I'm like slacking off or anything. Um, the Pokemon that I do have on my wish list, I'm actually gonna capture on screen. And what I'm gonna try to do right here is I'm actually gonna try. Oh wow! Actually, you can go a double battle either way. So I'm gonna try and double battle these guys. So what I'm gonna do right now is. I know for a fact Shadow is going to struggle, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch it up with Swamp Lord. Either or, depending on what it is, so... Well, it looks like we're not having a double battle, we're going to be doing single battles. Okay, so here we go. Battling Youngster Johnson, coming out with his... Oh god, Shroomish! Would you look at that, Shroomish! Look guys, it's Shroomish! Oh god. Okay, so here we go, Confusion Attack for the win. Not for the win. And, uh, of course, Gaia, not very strong defensively, physically defensively, or you, if you guys catch my drift. But look at that confusion. That should have happened in the last match. Should have happened, but it didn't. You know, this Pokemon game doesn't work on me, or doesn't like me. And uh, that actually worked. Wow, it's all in my favor right now. Look at that. Kicking butt everywhere. Kicking everybody's butt. That's right. Defeated you. And she's coming out, or he's coming out with the low tent. So I'm going to give... Shadow would try right here, you know. Shadow's not that strong, doesn't have any other moves. I know, I know many of you guys are like, still, why do you have this Poochiana? Yeah, it's very simple, guys. He's on my bucket list. My wish list, I should say. So, I'm gonna keep on using him. I'm not, oh wow, seriously? Okay, so I just, I, I guess I should just straight up attack this guy. I'm gonna try and increase. Please do not decrease my stuff. So we're back. Oh wow, back to where it was, I guess. And, uh, drained my energy right there. So what I'm gonna do, tackle attack right here. There we go. And, uh, wow. Exactly what I didn't want to happen. So here we go again, tackle attack. Finished him off with a critical hit. That's right, Shadow, that's a good boy. Good boy. 
And look at that. Johnson's not too happy. He's like, that was fun, even though I lost! Oh, good for you. And, uh, come on. Here we have another guy. And he's like, if the tunnel doesn't go through, then I'll just go over the top. I guess that's what they named you, Hiker, right? I'm just saying. So here we go. Hiker Clark coming out, and he's coming out with this Geodude. Look at that. It's not like I, it's not like we haven't seen a Geodude before. And, uh, of course, Gaia. You know, tracing the rock head and all that stuff. Confusion. Not there. Oh, God. Confusion again. There we go. Say goodbye to you, dude. Look at that. And, uh, well. It's like, gasp, gasp. Losing, to, losing made me tired. It should have, I guess. I don't know. Okay, so, defeating that guy. Let's go again. Come on, bring it on. We'll rock you hard. We will rock you. You know, that Freddie Mercury song, you know, Queen. That kind of stuff, and his name is Devon. Coming out, Geodude. I'm coming out with my Gaia. I'm trying to be the best that I can be. Gaia confusion attack right here. And, uh... Oh, here comes that Mudspore right here. Well, I don't have an Electric-type Pokemon yet. But, you know, it's a very good move to actually have. I remember I used that against a certain trainer at some point, And look at that. Level 11. And look at that. Double team. Okay, so we're going the right direction and uh, you know what we're gonna continue on with guy right here um, you know there's no need to use a uh, you know rock or not rocket I mean shadow and there's that confusion attack mud sport again where are you going what are you doing electricity's power has been weakened you know I don't have an electric type Pokemon you know oh god there we go so as you can see, defeated him. That's awesome. That is awesome. So, I'm just going to move on right here. Now, if you talk to this guy right here, he's like, mm, Roar! What's going on? I was digging the tunnel without any tools when uh, some goon ordered me out. That tunnel's filled with Pokemon that uh, can react uh, badly to loud noises. They could cause an uproar. That's why we stopped using heavy equipment for the tunneling. I'm worried that the goon will do something stupid and startle the Pokemon into an uproar. Hmm. Stupid Pokemon or stupid goon Pokemon. So before we go there, I'm just going to, you know, use the cut technique that we got, and we're gonna be battling a few trainers here. Double battles, you know, that kind of stuff. I'm just gonna cut every single tree. That's right, look at that. Let's go, Roger. And let's see, what does it say? Trainer tips. Your bag has several pockets. Items you obtain are automatically placed in the appropriate pockets. No trainer can afford to be without a bag of their own. I guess, I don't know. So we're going to be straight up battling, double battling right here. So let's see, let's see, let's see. You know what? Shroomly. Shroomly and uh, Shadow. Let's do this. Bring it on. And it, he sounds rich. When you lay your eyes on a Pokemon's gorgeous fur, their beauty will render you helpless. Huh? Just so you know, I've never once been bested by anyone at anything. Really? Okay. Alrighty, let's do this. Bring it on. So here we have the two rich people, Rich Boy Dawson and Lady Sarah Cone coming out from the battle and they're coming out with their Zigzagoon and Lotan. Did I choose the right Pokemon for this? Yes, I did. Okay, so we did the opposites right here. So tackle attack to this guy and bullet seed to that guy. So here we go, Shroomly going with the bullet seed, hitting him as many times as he can. Look at that. That's two. Ah, oh, crap. That was three. Oh, here we go. Four. One more. Oh, come on. Should have hit him one more time. And there's that tackle attack. Pretty effective. Oh, God. They're going to be picking on my shadow right here. They better not be picking on my shadow. Okay. And, uh... Nope. They're not picking on my shadow. They're just picking on both of us right here. So that growl attack actually hits us both right here. So we're going to do that. We're going to just... Oh, why did I do that? I... I... Oh, wow. Really? Okay, so I probably should have used that bullet seed on that zigzag goon because now it's going to be a while before we beat these guys. There's that little one. There's that small one. That was just two hits. It's okay. And, uh, okay, so tackle attack to you. And let's finish you off right here with this. That's right. 
You know, I probably should have used that leech seed just to make things quicker. Now that I'm thinking about it, and these guys are just like destroying our, our, our offense and defense and all that stuff. There we go. That's two. Say goodbye to Zigzag. That's right. Beat you. And, uh, well, we're not really gaining a lot of experience points right there. And, wow, they have two Pokemon. Damn. Okay, so... Really didn't expect that. Didn't see that. And, uh... Okay, Lotad's gonna be a little hard to, to beat. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just attack one more Pokemon right here. That's right. It's gonna be just a two-on-one kind of thing. Making me feel bad. Come on, finish him off. Finish him. Really wish Shroomly was uh, would become a fighting type Pokemon uh, just about now. You know, it would be so easy. And uh, of course, Lotad being the dick that he is, making our attack go down. Oh God. Okay. So let's see. We're just gonna keep on. Yeah, we're just gonna keep on doing this to Poochie in it. Doesn't really matter. Here we go. One. Come on, critical hit. I need a critical hit. Two, and look at that. Three. <laughs> You're all by yourself, Lotad. That's right. All by yourself. And Okay, now I'm really getting angry because this guy, all, all this guy can do is growl, and it's really messing up our attack right here. So we're going to just, uh, let's see, absorb. That's right. An absorb attack right here. I know, I know, guys. Neutral damage. Goodbye, Lotad. Look at that. And, uh, you know, more experience points for these Pokemon right here. I, they're not getting levels right now. And, wow. Okay, so we're going to go with this. We're going to go with that. And, uh, yeah, more Growl attacks. It's like I've seen more, like, more uh, stat uh, changes than, you know, just attacks from these guys right here. It's like they don't know what to do right now. And, uh, there's one... Come on. Finish. Oh, come on. So, that is probably a cue to change right there. I need to change Pokemon because this is not going to work. And you know what? Let's go with Rocket right here. You know why? Because, you know, just to gain a few experience points and all that stuff. Just to, you know, Swablord can destroy this guy with his freaking flappers. And, uh, really? How did I know that this was going to happen? I don't know. They seem to just growl every single time. So let's go with the water gun. And let's go with the cut attack right here. Water gun. Hopefully for the win. That's right. Eat a dick, Zigzagoon. Look at that. Everybody's getting a little uh, experience points. And Rocket didn't grow a level, which is kind of pitiful. He's like, oh, baby, say it ain't so. Oh, my goodness. This is a new experience for me. That's right. And we get a lot of money because they're both rich right here. All right. I hate you, too. Go away. We got another Pokemon trainer to battle. You know, that kind of stuff. And the tree looks like we cut. And uh, let's see. Huh. Okay. You know what? I need to heal some Pokemon right here. And I just got a potion. So I should just give that to Shadow right here. And just, you know, let's see what happens right here. So we got two more trainers. And he's like, we learn all sorts of things at the Pokemon school. I want to test things out for real. And let me teach you how strong my adorable Pokemon is! Alright. Bring it on. Just bring it. Just bring it! So here we go. School Kid Jerry and last Janus, or Janus, or whatever her name is. Janus, Janus, whatever. However you guys like to call it. And this is perfect for me. Perfect. Both your weaknesses, even though I don't have the specific attack to, to, to beat that Ralt. So, let's go with this. Let's go with that. And, uh takes a nice amount and here's that absorb you know to shroomly look at that super effective yeah you're not feeling so good right now and uh oh god looks like these two pokemon trainers are like uh stat effectors or something i don't even know this guy is, oh of course growl look at that see see what i mean guys you see what i mean I'm not too happy about that so let's go again with another tackle attack and let's go with another absorba we go tail whip somebody's gonna physically attack us at some point I know who they're gonna attack because it's very obvious I don't know even the game it has a little prejudice against you know who and that really oh wow yeah okay okay and uh, I guess that's all they can do seriously 
This is really annoying. This is this is starting to get annoying right here. So let's finish this guy off right here. That wow, seriously, Shadow? You had one job, Shadow. You had one freaking job. So I'm gonna finish it for you because of course you wow. Yeah. You had one freaking job. One. Only one. And you failed. You failed miserably. And look at that, Shadow Grosser level 11 for not doing anything at all. And, uh, extremely level 13. Hello, hello. And, uh, of course, that Ralts. You should know confusion by now. Just hitting us with these growl attacks. So, let's go again. And, uh, let's go with a bullet seed to this guy. And here we go. Bullet seed. That's right. Hitting you multiple times. Really? Only twice? And there we go. Okay, so now I'm happy. I'm happy about this. Okay, so everybody's granting, gaining experience points. We defeat these two school kids. I slacked off at school. That's why I lost. You're a notch above me. No, I'm not a notch above you. I'm way above you, woman. I'm about to walk off right here. Seriously, don't respect the. Don't respect me. What the heck's the matter with you, woman? All right, it's so a rocket cutting this thing up, and we're just grabbing this in ether, which. We will eventually use sometime soon. And here we have three peanut uh, berries. That's good. I don't know what they do. I mean, seriously, I don't know what they do. So we're just going to grab these two chest of berries. Do that thing. Tune to a so a loafy, uh, loafy thing. That's right. I don't even know what I'm saying right now because, yeah. And that right there. That's right. We got four... Or a bunch of berries right here. Eventually, I'm gonna plant some berries so I can just like you know get multiples of berries because I may or may not want to do that whole uh, that whole uh, contest thing. And you're gonna need berries. Now, so now we defeated all these trainers. Now we're here to the well to the important part. And uh, before we do that, I think there yeah there's an item right here that we need to get. We found ourselves an X special, which eh, we hardly use X attacks and all that stuff now. Here we have the Rust, uh, the Rust Turf Tunnel linking Rustboro to Verdant Turf. The tunnel project has been canceled. Now, if you talk to this guy, he's like, "Oh, what am I to do? We were, we were on our, our walk. Pico and I went. We were jumped with the dog thug. The scoundrel uh, made off with uh, our dar my darling Dean Pico. Wrong, Pico. Yeah, that's, that's how I imagine he would speak. Or it's probably because I kind of messed up on the reading." Yeah, either way, whatever. I'm not stopping right here. Let's go. Let's just do this. We have a mission we have to complete. Oh, let's go. Rust Turf Tunnel. Now, I think there's only one Pokemon that you can actually find in here. I could be wrong. Maybe you can find a Geodude in here. So what I'm going to do... Let's see. What Pokemon did he have in here? Let's see. Oh, um... Yeah, he had... Let's see. You know what? Screw it. I'm just going to go with Gaia. See what happens. And, of course, Rocket has the pickup technique or effect... And he found me an escape rope, which is cool. Okay, that's good. Now, as you can see, a little more foggy. There's an item right there. And we are being attacked by a Pokemon. And as you can see, we're being attacked by a Whismur. This is one of the Pokemon that they were talking about that could cause an uproar. It is very, very sensitive. Very sensitive, and uh, we don't want that to happen. And uh, there's that guy right there with that Pico. And, uh... Alrighty. Yeah, you're just gonna, you're only gonna find Whismers in here, guys. Shiny Whismers is a, like 1% kind of chance, and we're not gonna, we're not gonna bother them. And it should, I should put in a, a repel. Let me, let me see. Yeah, I got a few repels, so I'm gonna just use one of them. Don't want to be battling these guys. I'll catch one after, uh, off screen. And here we found a Pokeball, which, of course, we're gonna be using for one of these guys. And here we got this guy. He's like, what are you, what, you, are you coming? Come and get some, then. Okay, whatever. Um, if, I'm, if I'm not mistaken, he probably used another Pokemon that's, that's strong against me. So, I'm going to switch it up to Swamp Lord. Make easy work of him. And this guy's like, Ah, get all it all. That hostage Pokemon turned out to be worthless. And to think I made a gateway. In this tunnel, to nowhere. Hey, you, so you want to battle me? All right, let's do this. Bring it. So here we have our second battle against a Team Aqua member, and this guy, yes, still has one Pokemon, and yes, I was right, he does have that Poochiana, so I wasn't going to do anything with Guy at all. So, here we go, Mudshot. That's right. 
feel my muddy mud shot all over your face. That's right. Beat you. That's right. And that was easy. So easy. He's like, oh, my career crime comes to a dead end. That's right. You suck, man. You really suck at being a criminal. And he's like, this is plain, this is plain not right. The boss told me that, or the boss told me this would be a slick and easy pull. All I had to do was steal some package from Devon. Disc, you want it back so badly? Take it. And here we have the Devon goods, which is cool. Awesome. And uh, that guy goes away. And here we have, uh, I think that's Mr. Briny, right? Yes. Pico, I am glad that you're safe. Pika owes her life to you. They call me Mr. Briny, and you are? Dot, dot, dot. Ah, so you're Draven. I sincerely thank you. Now, if you now if there's anything anything that troubles you, don't hesitate to, to tell me. You can usually find me in the cottage by a near bar. In my cottage, by the sea, near the Paddleborg Woods. That's right. Come, Pico. We should make our way home. And there he goes. Pico's just going away. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye-bye, Wingle. All right, and uh, let's see. Now, the only reason why they can't get away is because, of course, there's a you know a few boulders right here bl blocking the way. Can't get Rock Smash until way, way later on, and uh, I think we're done right here. Yeah, we're really done, and oh, shoot, halfway, half an hour in. That's pretty good. Mm, roar! That goofy goon hightailed it out, out of the tunnel. I can go back to digging. That's good. Now, let's see, what is this? Tunnel Tunneler's Rest House right here. What does this do, or what is what is this place like? To get to the Verdanter, or to get to Verdanter without using the tunnel, you have to cross the uh, sea to Dufer and sail to Slateport, then travel through Malville. Wow, that's like, wow, that's like an adventure right there. The Ruster of Tunnel there. At first, we had a huge work crew, uh, we had a huge work crew boring through the through the uh, through rock with the latest machinery but we had to stop turns out that we would uh, have had a negative effect on the wild pokemon in the area so we got nothing to do but to lull around here doing nothing hmm. okay and he's like there's a man digging his way to burden turf all by and blows himself he's desperate to get through he says that if he digs little by little without using machines he wants to serve pokemon and he'll avoid harming the natural environment i wonder if he made it through yet I think it was that karate guy right there. I don't know. Was it that karate guy? Yes, it is that karate guy. Okay, so let's go back to Ruster or Rustboro City, and I'm gonna use a repel right here because I don't want to be attacked by any of these Pokemon. And uh, we're gonna finish off this episode. Wow, 30 minutes long. 32, 33, 34. I don't even care. And here he is looking. He's like, oh wow, dude. It's like, oh, how did it go? The Devon Goods? You did. You got them back. You really are a great trainer. I know, as a thanks, I'll give you another great ball. Oh, that's good, that's great. Okay, we got a great ball. And he's like, excuse me, please, please come with me. And here we are. This is the Devon Corporation's third floor. Our president's office is in this floor. Anyway, I can't tell you how much I'm grateful for what you've done. Um, by the way, that parcel you got back for us, could I get, get it to you, or can I get you to deliver that to the shipyard in Slateport? It would be awful if uh, those robbers tried to take it again. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, could I count on you to do that for me? Wow, you are—you really are the worst employee ever. Oh, that's right. Could I wait? Uh, can you wait here for a second? He really is the worst employee ever. I don't know why he still has a job. And this guy's like, our president would like to have a word with you. Please come with me. Oh crap, the president. Please go ahead. And here we have the president right here. He's like, I'm Mr. I'm Mr. Stone, the president of the Devon Corporation. I just got the word from you. You did billions and billions and billions and billions of good things. Of course, that was a bad impersonation of that. You know who? So we're going to go with the regular, uh, <laughs> regular voice right here. You saved our staff not just once, but twice. I have a favor to ask of an amazing person like you. I understand that the that you're delivering a package to Slateport Shipyard. Well, on the way, could you stop off to Dufer Town? I was hoping that you would uh, deliver a letter to Steven in Dufer. And we have a letter. Oh, would you look at that letter, Mr. Stone? He's like, now, you know, you know that I'm a great president, a great, great president. 
So I'd never at, I'd never be so cheap to ask a favor for nothing in return. I'll give you billions and billions and billions of dollars. You know, if he did, then, you know, <laughs> look at that. He made hoe and grain again, right? And he's like, that's why I want, to, I want you to have this. Look at that. So he gives us the PokéNav, that device. It's a Pokémon Navigator, or PokéNav for short. It's an indispensable tool for any trainer on an adventure. It has a map of the Hoenn region. You can check the locations of the Doofer or Slaper easily. By the way, I heard that Sinister Criminals Magma and Aqua, I believe, have been making trouble for far and wide. I think it would be best if you rest it up before you go on your way. And would you look at that? We get healed up like that. Look at that. We got healed up. Well then, Draven, go go with caution and care. Alrighty. Okay. Alright. Okay, so... Stay tuned, guys. Tomorrow, we're going to have another episode, a very good episode. We're going to be exploring a few things. You know, maybe capturing a few Pokemon off screen, that kind of stuff. And, uh, yeah, we're going to be going to Doofert Town. So, stay tuned, guys. Next episode, Doofert Town, Gattaca. See you guys.